Welcome back, attorney Christine Michelle, and today we're talking about traffic violations. We're always top, you know, tapping into your legal expertise, Absolutely. and this is a great topic right now because this time of year there seems to be a lot of accidents and a lot of violations. So why is that so? Why this time of year? Yeah, it's summer, you know, and you, you're going on trips with your family, you're taking uh, road trips, you're going out, you're trying to get the kids to enjoy this little bit of time off of school or before they head back and so it's just I mean it's it's one of those pesky little things that happen to all of us we get traffic violations we have a little citation that we need help with that's true and yeah there's a lot of distractions especially with back to school so that's why it's the worst time of the year right now so let's talk about something that comes up points yes so what exactly are points how do you deal with them absolutely so yeah you get a traffic violation you have a citation that you need to take care of Unfortunately, if you pay it, it's the same as pleading guilty to it. So it's like you're admitting that you were at fault there, and then you do get the, those points assessed. The other thing that you get is the, what's called a conviction. So um, the reason why you want to call someone like me, an attorney, is to have that taken care of for you. So we can go to court on your behalf. We can actually get those points not to be put onto your license, and we can do what's called a withhold of adjudication, which would prevent you from getting that conviction and stop those points from going on your license. And then what about traffic school? A lot of times that's an option that comes up. Do you recommend that? How, you know, how does it work? Yeah, oftentimes actually we can help you avoid having to go to traffic school at all. So when you come, we actually go to court on your behalf. You don't have to go at all. Um, we go and we can actually work with the judge and actually get that taken care of for you. Occasionally if you've got a poor driving record, you're speeding a little bit too much, a little, you know, heavy metal there <laughs> on, the, on the gas, then occasionally you will have to go to a driving school. But a lot of times we can help you avoid having to do that as well. Now you brought up speeding, yes. and it, it's a question that a lot of people, they ask this, okay? They do. <laughs> Is it ever okay to speed? Well, I just always go with, you know, they go through all that trouble to post <laughs> those speed limit things for you. It's better to stay safe. Uh, it's there, obviously, to avoid having to, to get a ticket, but then it's also for your safety. So uh, if observing those markers and making sure you're following that, that's the best and safest way to go. So it's never okay to speed. That's <laughs> well, what I'm, I'm getting at. I'm not going <laughs> to say it's okay to speed. You're not going to get that one from me. But, um, yeah, you know, just be safe out there, obviously. Uh, you don't want to get into an accident. That's the worst kind of thing, and, and speeding obviously increases the, your chances of getting into an accident. So stay safe. Drive the speed limit. And, you know, the faster you're going, the more damage you're going to cause to yourself and somebody else, your loved ones or whatever. So, Absolutely. like you said, they're there for a reason. They're there for a that. reason, yes. You know, let's talk about, too, right now, everybody's going back to school. And there's a lot of school zones. There, you have to, you know, watch out for the buses when the stop sign comes up and all that. Yeah, absolutely. You know that the school zone speed limit is 15. 15. So you want to be observing those areas and make sure you're slowing down. There's crossing guards. Uh, just, I mean, it makes the drive a little bit slower. Uh, as soon as school starts, there's a little bit more traffic out there. So yeah, you want to be mindful of what's going on around you and make sure you're stopping for pedestrians and that you're stopping for school bus and and it's just not worth it to be in a hurry and, and cause something terrible to happen. Yeah, and you know, school starts in some counties on Friday and then just about everybody else the following week. So give yourself more time, you know, just Absolutely. to be safe for everyone. And then let's just break this down again. When should people contact you? Yeah. What's like, at what time? Yeah, absolutely. So if you if you have a ticket, for example, this summer you go, you got a ticket. You want to try to handle it as soon as possible. Normally, you if you're going to try to fight the ticket or if you're trying to challenge that ticket, you want to do that within 30 days. So you want to contact me so we can set a court date for you so we can go in. And there's a few reasons why you want to do that. Sure. Uh, there's just the uh, the the time element of it. When you go to court, it's you could be sitting there for two to three hours wow. just waiting to take care of a ticket. Whereas if you have an attorney, you don't even have to go. We can handle that for you. The other reason is obviously for the points and the conviction. But then you might want to fight the ticket. You might say, hey, I'm really not at fault here, and I want to take this ticket to trial, and that's something that we can do and get set up for And you. that happens. That happens often. Some people feel like, I really did not do what, what they're saying I did, and I want to fight that. Or they're involved in an accident, and they were found to be at fault by the police officer, but they weren't there. They don't know exactly what happened. Sure. One story was told, another was told, and you really want to fight that ticket. That's what I'm here for. Well, thanks again for all the information, Absolutely. for helping out our viewers. And right now, I'm going to leave them with your number so they can contact you. So they contact the law offices of Christine Michelle. You can give them a call at 904 356 73 one more time, 904-356-7343. Thanks again. Thank Stick you. around. More to come right after this.